Now that we're clear on the difference between elements, values, and records, let's talk about how to create a metadata record in Dublin Core. There are two principles of creating a metadata record for Dublin Core, and these are different than the high-level goals of Dublin Core, simplicity and internationalization, etc. Right? These are principles for how to create a metadata record using Dublin Core. And the first one is the dumb down principle, which is possibly the best name of anything in the entire metadata world. We've actually talked about the dumb down principle before, but I haven't called it that, I think. Um, the dumb down principle is simply that if an element is not relevant, for describing the thing that you're describing, you just leave that element off, right? For example, if you're describing a piece of music or a piece of art that doesn't have a subject, then you just leave the subject element out of your metadata record, right? Keep in mind that the purpose of metadata generally is to help in discovery of resources, to help users find things, to aid in searching and, and retrieval and whatnot. So in the interest of simplicity, you only include the information that's going to help a user find the things that they're looking for. You don't include extraneous information. The one-to-one -one principle then says that there is for any single object, there should be a single metadata record that is about that thing, right? There is a one-to-one -one relationship between object and metadata record. You would not, for example, want to have more than one metadata record describing the same object because that would get confusing. That would violate the goal of simplicity because then you get into questions of, well, which metadata record is more complete, which is more recent, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It just gets confusing. It violates simplicity. And you would certainly never want to have one metadata record that describes more than one object because then that metadata record would be very confusing and ambiguous. Let's describe the Mona Lisa. And here's a blank metadata record with all 15 elements, right? For the sake of this example, let's say that we are describing the original Mona Lisa, the painting in the Louvre, right? Not a print photograph, not a digital photograph, not any kind of representation of the Mona Lisa, but the actual original thing. For the sake of this example, please ignore the fact that what you're looking at on your screen is, of course, a digital representation of the Mona Lisa. And in order to make these slides, I made a copy of a digital representation of the Mona Lisa that may itself have been a copy of a digital representation of the Mona Lisa, et cetera, et cetera, all the way back to the original photograph of the Mona Lisa, right? The question of surrogation, right? What is an acceptable surrogate for an original object is a very interesting question. It's a topic well worth discussing, but not one that we're going to discuss here. So, okay, let's create our metadata record for the Mona Lisa. And here I've filled in some values, right? Element, creator, value, Leonardo da Vinci, for example, right? Now, notice that not every element has a value associated with it here, right? For example, language. Well, Leonardo da Vinci spoke Italian, but that's really not relevant to describing the painting, right? So the dumbed-down principle comes into play here. The dumbed-down principle states, if an element is not relevant, you leave it out of your metadata record. The flip side of the dumbed down principle is repeatability. If you need an element more than once, 
you use it more than once and you give it different values, right? As I've said, the Mona Lisa has different names in different languages. So if you wanna create a really thorough metadata record, you repeat the element title and you give it different values for the different titles in different languages. Now let's talk about the one-to-one -one principle, right? What we have here, let's say, is the original Mona Lisa, the painting in the Louvre, and a digital representation. So each one of those objects has its own metadata record, right? The one-to-one -one principle. Each representation is a distinct object. Each object has its own metadata record. Now these metadata records will be different because the objects they're describing are different, right? The creator of the painting was Leonardo da Vinci. The creator of the digital representation was whoever created the digital representation, the photographer who works for the Louvre, say, right? The date of creation of the original was whenever it was, and the date of creation of the digital representation was, let's say, 2013. And in the metadata record for the digital representation of the Mona Lisa, you might want to use the relation element and say there is a relationship between these two objects. This digital representation is a representation of this other object. Right? So you maintain the uniqueness of the original objects, the painting and the digital representation. You maintain the uniqueness of the metadata records, but you establish that there is a relationship between those two things.